What's up guys, just want to give you a quick warning here at the beginning of the video. I'm going to be talking about baiting and hunting for bears, stuff like that. So if you're not into that kind of thing, feel free to leave the video now. No animals going to be in this video, no, no animals getting hurt or killed or skinned or anything like that or butchered. So you can watch if you're interested, but I'm going to be talking about hunting bears. So just a heads up guys. How's it going guys? Just back uh, setting up my bear bait here for the spring. Figured I'd take you guys along with me and, sh and show you exactly how I do it. So what I got here is a four liter jug of uh, used deep fryer fat, which I, I collect from restaurants. So pretty much all I use is uh, just table scraps, which I've been collecting now for couple months once it gets close to bear season I start uh, I start collecting table scraps like once I what I do is uh, what I do is I, I keep a bag in the fridge and to get the kids to scrape their uh, leftovers and stuff like that and their scraps into a bag. Once that bag gets kind of full like that, then I take it and store it in my deep freezer. And uh, that's what I do. That's pretty much all I do for a bear bait. And then of course I cover everything with the used deep fryer oil. So I need a new lid, this one's all broken up and chewed up by the bears, but I just cut a square hole like this, just so I can fit a lid in there, like that. Then when I'm coming from a distance, I can see if this lid is missing. If this lid is missing, I know the bears have been around, so I'm, I'm extra cautious then. Also when I first get set up in the spring or the fall, I like to set up some kind of smelly bait usually fish or something like that. Here I have an old freezer burned codfish that somebody gave me, a little tiny one. So what I'll do is I'll chop that fish up and put in here. I'll poke a few holes in the lid. I'll poke a few holes a little off the bottom here. I'll, I'll, that fish will be in here so when I hang it, the rainwater will go down through these holes in the top and then the, it'll the fish will actually get rotten in a, in a little bit, you know, the weather's warming up and stuff. So that'll... Ah, ah. So that'll continue to, uh, you know, drip smelly fish, we'll say, from wherever I hang it. I'm going to find somewhere to hang it where the bears can't get it. I've done it before and the bears have climbed the trees and, and just uh, taken it all down, you know. But right now I'm going to chop up this fish, get it in the pail, and uh, we'll get this stink bait going. So you don't want the holes right at the bottom because you want this to fill up with water a little bit, you know? So it gets the smell of the fish in the water. Yes, bye! Much better. Much better. That's about 10 or 12 feet off the ground right there, so that's about four feet from the tree. 
So hopefully that'll do. So guys, how I set this barrel is, it's uh, perpendicular to my uh, to my tree stand. My tree stand's right there. So when the bear comes in this way to the bait, it's going to be perfectly broadside to my tree stand. Uh, the first bear I killed back in 2012, I had this, I had a barrel facing away, so the bear's ass was pointing at me, which was terrible. It was no good. So obviously I learned from that mistake and ever since I've been setting up my uh, barrel so the bear is broadside which is obviously what you're supposed to do. And another thing guys, uh, you don't have to worry about filling these barrels up. Just bring a little bit of bait every day. I just bring like a half a shopping bag full every day usually when I come and check it. And a four liter jug of deep fryer fat, used, used uh, deep fryer oil. And that keeps the bears coming back just about every single day. I get hits just about every day. Now this is the first time I set it up this, this year. So it might take a couple of weeks for the bears to get around again. You know, but once they, once they come here and they realize they're going to get a meal every day, they'll keep coming back. Consistency is the key. Keep coming back and, and uh, rebaiting and the bears will keep coming back. That's it, it's pretty much all you need. So obviously, we're gonna pack all the trash back out. All the bags and stuff that I use to bring food in. The jug will go back in the bag and back in uh, my backpack, cause I'll reuse that jug. I'll just top it up from the big, the big five gallon pails of uh, deep fryer oil. Now we're gonna get the trail camera set up. So that's it for the trail camera. I'll just flick it on before I leave. Maybe six or seven yards away from the bait. I get great pictures, great video from this angle. I get lots of bears right here, sniffing the camera, climbing over this log to get out and in. And uh, yeah, it's just a perfect location. So here's the view from the tree stand. I brought my range finder before, I think it's 13 yards from the tree stand to the bait. My trail camera is right behind this tree. Not sure if you can see it. But right along that log right there. My trail camera. So that's the stand up there. Put a few more boughs around just to try and camo it a little more. Bait down there. So yeah, looking real forward to uh, getting in the stand. Hopefully the bears come back that were there in the fall. Had a nice big one there in the fall. But of course had to go out to the south coast working there. So never got to uh, fill my tag. 
but hopefully this spring anyway we'll see how it goes so guys before I take off here I just want to go over a few things like uh, sink control and what I wear in the tree stand when I'm bear hunting uh, what I do is uh, I like to dress in layers obviously camo because I don't want to be seen up in the tree stand there I am up in fir trees so there's lots of uh, cover there lots of green cover so what I like to do with my clothing, I will uh, wash it in hot water, no detergent, just hot water. Dry it, no, uh, no bounce sheets or anything like that. And what I'll do is uh, I'll use scent killer and I'll spray it down, spray everything down. And I'll store it in a garbage bag with some uh, spruce boughs and stuff. And I'll keep that in my trunk, the trunk of my car. So when I get to the bear bait, when I get to where I'm going to park, I'll take all this out of the bag, out of the trunk of the car, and uh, I'll spray it all down, just give her a little spray like this with the scent killer, and then I'll put it on and walk to the stand. So I won't wear any of this anymore until bear season is over, you know what I mean? I won't wear it out around or to the cabin or anything like that. And. Uh, I like to dress in layers, so I'll, I'll have like a, a, I'll wear like a t-shirt or whatever, or, or a base layer. Then I'll wear a long sleeve, and it's going to be all clothing that's not going to make any noise while moving around. You know what I mean? It's going to be nice soft clothing. I also have this head cover here. So cover up most of my face, just my eyes showing pretty much. My old Cabela's hoodie here, and. Uh, also wear my camo jacket if I need it. This usually goes in the pack because I don't want to sweat while I'm walking to the tree stand. So depending on the weather, some of this may go in the pack until I get to the tree stand. If you start sweating and then late in the evenings while you're sitting in the stand it gets cold, you're going to get cold just sitting there because you're trying to be as still as possible, right? Also, I'll take my uh, old Cabela's backpack here. Every time I take it out of the trunk of the car, give it a little spray. I like to spray my boots as well, the bottom of my boots. But I'm not really, really, really particular on the scent. You know, I want the, when I go to the bear bait just to rebate, let's say I'm not going to be sitting in the stand, I'm just going to rebate. I won't, I won't do any of this. I'll just walk to the bear bait, rebate, and leave. Because I want the bear to kind of have my scent. So, if he does catch my scent while I'm in the tree stand, it's not going to like uh, startle him and scare him off right away, you know what I mean? So dark, dark clothing, camo clothing up in the tree stand, a little bit of scent killer, keep it stored with, uh, uh, in a container, either a container with uh, some boughs and stuff, some green boughs, fresh boughs, or in a garbage bag or something. I just keep it in a garbage bag, I have some uh, spruce boughs in there. And that's where I'll store it, just so it doesn't catch any scent of anything else, you know what I mean? It just has my scent and uh, the wood scent. So anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully we get ourselves some bear meat in the freezer this spring. You know, that'd be pretty awesome. I haven't killed a bear in a, in a long time. I haven't had any bear meat in a while, so hopefully this is the spring that's going to happen.